Good day, you're welcome to the news update on US television. My name is Benahi Onofi. The news. Following the discovery of the Omicron variant of the coronavirus in the country, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, says no single COVID-19 death was recorded on Saturday. In a statement released on its social media pages on Sunday, the NCDC disclosed that 54 new infections were recorded in seven states and the FCT rather on Saturday. According to the center, the newly recorded cases show that there is a decrease of 143 from the 197 cases recorded on Friday. The NCDC added that the total COVID-19 infections recorded across the country now stand at 214,567. It said that out of the 214,567 total national infections, 207,427 cases have been treated and discharged from hospitals. The Lagos Police Command has sealed Doan College following the circumstances surrounding the controversial death of a 12-year-old Sylvester Oromoni. This comes after spokesman Adekule Ajisha Butu of the Lagos Police Command in a statement made available to newsmen on Saturday said an investigation into the death of Sylvester Oromoni has now been taken over by the Homicide Section of the Criminal Investigation Department, CID. Ajisha Butu said that the Divisional Police Officer, Morocco Division, has been directed by the Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, to immediately visit the school to carry out the initial investigation. Moving on, the families of eight minors have been thrown into mourning after their corpses were recovered from a Honda Sport utility vehicle parked on Adelaide Street in the Ja Michael area, Padagui Expressway, Lagos State. It was gathered that the vehicle was parked in front of a house where the victims entered it. The keys were said to be playing inside the SUV when they mistakenly locked themselves in as an effort rather to unlock the door proved abortive. It was learned that a parent, while searching for the children, found their remains inside the vehicle. The parent was said to have raised the alarm, attracting other parents and residents. As residents lamented the tragic incident, which happened on Saturday, December 4th, 2021, they called for an investigation to ascertain the circumstances surrounding the death of the children. The victims were identified as Mahmoud, Aisha, Zainab, Farida, Yakubu, Tayab, Wahab, and one other. The State Police Public Relations Officer, CSP Adekunle Ajisha Butu, in a statement on Sunday, said the State Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, had ordered a probe into the incident, adding that the corpses had been deposited in a morgue. He said the eight children while playing were said to have mistakenly locked themselves in an abandoned car. Their bodies have been recovered and deposited in the Badagri General Hospital's morgue for autopsies in order to determine the actual cause of death. Governor Babagana Zulu of Borno State has expressed sadness over the bombing of a 1,000 housing estate in Meduguru by suspected Boko Haram insurgents. Earlier, there was tension on Saturday morning in Meduguri, Borno State, after a massive explosion rocked a 1,000 housing estate. According to a video, some residents were seen discussing the incident in groups, while a large crowd was also spotted in one of the houses affected by the explosion. Speaking during a visit to the scene of the incident, Governor Zulum asked the Nigerian military to wipe out all terrorists in the state and stop their activities in the northeast. He also urged the military to step up its operations and ensure adequate surveillance in the state. He wondered how the terrorists fired the rockets, which affected several houses. Well, finally, the Lagos State Government has announced the release of the full reports of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry on restitution for victims of SARS-related abuses and other matters. A statement on Sunday issued by the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Moyosore Onigbanjo, 
SAN said the state government has released the online version of the reports. It said that the public can access the two reports titled Report of Lekki Incident Investigation on 20th October 2021 and Consolidated Report on General Police Brutality online. The commissioner asked Nigerians to download the certified true copy CTC of the documents on the website of the Lagos State Ministry of Justice. Onigba and Joe advised the public to send their comments and inquiries to the Office of the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice. Well, this is the news update on viewers television. Ensure you follow us across our social media platforms on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. You have viewers TV Ninja. My name is Bina Hianofi. Thanks for watching.